My name is Cheryl Gottemuller, and I live here in San Fernando Valley, and I'm an artist, and you're in my home. You're gonna see a life-size fiberglass horse that I got the opportunity to paint for the Arts and Education Committee of the Greater Valley Glen Council. The Horses Across the Valley program is part of the public art initiative of the Museum of the San Fernando Valley. We also have an alliance partner in the Valley Arts Alliance and is part of the San Fernando Valley Art and Cultural Center. The California Golden Poppy is the state flower. So I thought, well, they grow to about three feet in height, so I was envisioning a horse galloping through a poppy field. Up here we have the bridle made up of the 170 and the 101 freeway, and then all the little patches representing the neighborhoods of the area. Tongva the Indian, which I guess they are also called the Gabrieleno, were the native tribe for this area of San Fernando Valley. The Indians used the abalone conch shell in their everyday uses and also in their uh, jewelry and clothing. There was a selection process in terms of what animal made the most sense, and it was hands down that horses was the one and only animal uh, for the program. Why? Because it has such a rich history, from the Spaniards that brought the horses into the valley, to all the Mexican rancheros and the missions that used the horses, all the way to, of course, the Western film. We had 78,000 horses in the late 1700s in the valley. So it was way more populated by horses. So they have a great history here. So the spine flower, they're like the size of your fingernail. They're tiny little ground cover kind of plants that vine out. So then I did like a magnification of it up here. The spiny bracts are how it gets its name from the San Fernando Valley spine flower. And I put freeways in different places because that's the lifeblood of San Fernando Valley. It brings people, commerce, it's a movement of energy. It's like an artery in a body. Our project will be to bring the horse to the elementary schools and to the high school in the area to bring that history, that rural history, to the children so that they're aware of what was here in the past. So this California scarlet pen and stem plant, which is native to the area also, um, the blossoms, they grow, they're nurtured like in a garden, and then they take flight like your, like your dreams, like your wishes, like the career you want to build, the company you want to build. And as they take, a f take flight, then the dreamer up here is welcoming the dreams into existence in society. And then eventually, the blossoms become an airplane right on the ear there to pay tribute to the aviation and aerospace industry that was so prominent here and still is here in the valley. Back here, we have the eye with the energy. So it's the eye of the soul. And it's all the energy and momentum and the spirit that goes into the dreamers who want to make their careers take flight.